Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Starting off with the Fenty Skin Moisturizer. I'm going to moisturize my face. Get ready with me for brunch. Hey, your face like peeling and shit. My nose gets very, very dry, so. And like my eyebrows. Now I'm taking the Versali Unicorn Essence Serum and this is just going to protect my face from the harsh radicals of like the air and in the makeup, the chemicals in the makeup, just protecting my skin and priming my skin. I use this to blur my skin. I feel like it, it, it really works well with um, really bad smell lines. Like, it makes it look not as bad. <laughs> Elf Cameo Concealer. The only product that I use on my brows is the Clear Got To Be Glue just to keep them in place all day. And now I'm just outlining my brows. And you know, you gotta concentrate when you're doing brows. So I was not talking. I'm going to MLK. I'm going to brunch for MLK Day. And that's on Dr. King. So yeah, I had to concentrate for this part. Cause I don't like them to be like too uniform. Now we are on to a new foundation alert. This foundation is by Beauty Bakery, their Aqua Glass Foundation. I was really just praying that I got something that matches my skin. I'm so used to getting like the wrong shade or like an orange shade because they cannot get my shade right. That getting the foundation that matches me felt weird. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it goes well with this primer. What do y'all think? <laughs> Overall, the foundation did have good coverage. I did expect it to be more creamy than liquidy. It was more liquidy than what I thought. It also is not matte like I thought it would be. But it does say aqua glass. So, aqua means wet water, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be matte. But overall, I feel like it is a pretty good shade. And I feel like the foundation is pretty good. But I do make sure that I bake the foundation because... It is pretty luminous. It is not matte. And uh, yeah, I do want to keep trying it to see how I really like it. I will continue to use it to really get a feel of it. And also retails for $37. I got mine from Ulta. And I'm in 329 Warm Neutral. If you want to use me as a color reference. I'll bring my concealer in on my nose a little bit for like a natural contour. This video is because I, I do have a hair video coming up next. I plan to give you guys more content this year. All the details of this hair will be in my next video. That is why I did not include it in this video. So make sure you are subscribed. And look up while you're doing concealer. Like upward. Look up so you can get right under your eye. Really, really good. Yeah, anyway. So take the butt of the beauty blender. I always do that. It really just blends it out a little better. So it's, And then I just dab my beauty blender in. And I also look up to get right under my eye. And I bring the setting powder in on my nose for a natural contour. Cause it was looking 
oily. I hardly ever switch up my bronzer. Same Fenty Beauty bronzer in Bajan Girl. And I use a big fluffy brush because I love a really bronzed look. So I use a fluffy brush so it can really, it's not so defined in detail. It just looks very natural. And I'll stop be putting it like on my wig. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. Okay. Everybody has a good new year, regardless of like, you know, how you're feeling about it. I feel like, you know, despite everything, like, I feel like it's gonna be, I feel like different this year. I feel really different, so I feel like it's gonna be a good, like, you know, things are gonna be different. I will say that, I feel like things are gonna be different. I always go back in with bronzer after powder just to make sure that I don't look washed out or ghosty. And then I also spray my face with Mario Badescu sprays to add that color back in my face that the powder may have taken away. Literally cannot live without this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It is the best. It makes all my makeup come together. It makes the makeup just flow and look so nice. I cannot believe it was once upon a time where like I didn't wear blush. So embarrassing. I'm so obsessed with blush, it's disgusting. But we're at the end of the makeup look. I really just decided to just turn on my camera and film this for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys learn some tricks and learn some new makeup hacks or some products that you want to try. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these makeup products or want to. And I sprayed my face again for the ending result. And boom. <laughs> And now we have the completed makeup look and hair. I'm just coming through my hair. And I decided to go with this dress from Fashion Nova. And I love this corset top. Like corset tops are just so cute and like feminine. And I got it in a size extra small. It fits super tight. It made my butt look good. I love this dress. And it's also one dress. It's not like a shirt under it. It's all It all comes in one piece. And just to add a little drip to it, I decided to pair it with these snakeskin boots and this diamond belt from Pretty Little Thing. The boots are from Public Desire. I had these booties for a really long time. Before like snakeskin was like super trendy. Like I had, I've had these boots for years. So I'm gonna still try to find them on the website. I'm not sure if they're still on there, but I'm gonna link everything below in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I love how this outfit came out. If you do too, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.